I always thought it was super nerdy and now I got one of my own. I don't know if that makes me a nerd now, but... <laughs> aka Techie Supreme, your supreme source on all things tech and uh, we are here in Laguna Beach, California at the Media Tech Summit and just checking in to let you guys know what's going on here. So earlier this afternoon Media Tech announced their new flagship SOC, the Dimensity 9000 chip. Uh, we actually have one right here. Um, we got a locked box. This is my first time actually getting one of these chips. I have, I've always seen a lot of my colleagues um, getting these and I always, I don't know, I always thought it was super nerdy and now I got one of my own. I don't know if that makes me a nerd now, but <laughs> um, I always, it's pretty, pretty interesting, don't you think? Um, but don't really have, this is going to be a super quick video, but I thought it was just going to be interesting because what I have actually have here is our swag bag to unbox. Uh, just to chat about the company and um, more in the practical consumer electronics space because um, what we uh, talked about in the, uh, the major part of the summit was just how um, their, their, the components that they create are in a lot of the products a lot of the everyday products that uh, people use and people and people and even probably even you know reporters and things like that don't even realize so we're gonna dive in um, to the swag bag <laughs> so uh, we'll get into uh, some of the more um, standard things so we got a uh, a media tech cup, pretty nice. I always like getting cups because cups and like water bottles and things like that, just because I like to keep up my water intake, so that'll come in handy. We got a COVID test. Uh, and this one I also thought, I thought this one was a pretty interesting one. Because uh, this one is like pretty practical and I'm pretty sure the, m one of the reasons why this is in the box is because it likely has a MediaTek chip in it. Uh, and this is a pretty practical, uh, a pretty practical device and obviously it's an electric toothbrush and it's got to be powered by something you know so again you know an everyday person wouldn't think of like what goes into a, a product like this but obviously you know the innards of this would have to be run by something and you know one of the executives that talked to us today was like you know You know, you think about, you think about the, you know, think about, think about any, you know, any kind of brand that you, you know, out there that you could think of. And there's probably a product out there that has a media tech that's been, you know, in fact, that is, that has something that's run by media tech. So, um, that, I think that's a pretty interesting example right there. And I, I guess this is supposed to be the piece de resistance. <laughs> um, so this is powered by, this actually says it's a, a powered by MediaTek Companio. Uh, and we have got this Acer Chromebook 
And uh, again, we were talking in the session earlier about how, you know, during the pandemic and a, lo a lot of the lockdowns, how, uh, you know, kids were given Chromebooks to work in school and, um, excuse me, to work at home and how uh, now a lot of kids are going back to school and they're, you know, pretty much still using the Chromebooks. They're taking the Chromebooks back to school. So, you know, this is pretty, and, you know, we can just do a little, a little quick uh, first hand. This is like really light and portable. It's really interesting to think about how this would be really easy for our kid to like use and carry, you know, carry from home to school and things like that to get their work done. So um, I would even, uh, I'll have to think about how this is going to go, uh, but you know, we just kind of got a, um, a bit of a glimpse of uh, just a host of devices that were, that are uh, powered by um, by MediaTek, and a lot of them, for example, are like Amazon devices. Uh, there were like there's like a lot of like exercise equipment, kind of like Peloton type things. A lot of TV, smart TV type things, uh, Fire Sticks, like I said, Amazon. Um, a lot of obviously a lot of smartphones because uh, you know for me obviously um, there's a lot of um, that that's one of my primary interests uh, I'm I'm personally more I personally kind of uh, I personally identified media tech with more international devices but uh, the company was really talking about how they are actually very embedded inside the US and how um, a lot of their devices in 2021 uh, were uh, a lot of their top devices for 2021 were actually US based there were like two uh, Samsung devices uh, that were that were their top selling devices that were released in the United States and were like North American based devices obviously a lot of those would be more kind of like mid-tier lower lower end devices and they were talking about for example in the UK uh, UK European uh, based markets those brand those uh, those markets kind of lend those markets kind of allow them to lend to to a more higher end um, to a more higher end uh, user yeah so again you know if we kind of if I can kind of uh, you know now that I'm learning a bit more about the company start to investigate a lot more of their products for example when I get the one that I can remember we can kind of dive into uh, was the OnePlus Nord 2 I was telling one of my friends I actually have a handset <laughs> collecting dust in a corner of my house I was <laughs> gonna throw it in my bag and I was trying to find a MediaTek powered device to bring with me and I couldn't remember which devices that I had that actually had a MediaTek chip and you know like all of my devices I have so many devices that are like just like not charged <laughs> um, and I actually have a Nord 2 that I could have brought with me <laughs> and they didn't even realize um, but yeah so that's just kind of a quick overview um, Again, just kind of off the top of my head, trying to remember um, what uh, kind of devices some of the some of the other devices that they had on display were kind of like smart speakers. I know one of them was um, like Fire TV was one of the examples of for televisions. Um, there were a lot of kind of like um, Wi-Fi connectivity router type devices. Uh, smart speakers uh, I don't remember the name of it but there is the the Amazon 
the Amazon smart speaker with the TV with the little with the screen attached I don't remember the exact name of it and I have reviewed not reviewed but I've written about that recently but I don't remember the name of it uh, but yeah so those are the kind of devices you know overall that you can consider that have um, MediaTek chips in them and again like I said obviously now we've got this new Dimensity 9000 that this, that is more um, that is more uh, smartphones and again obviously this is not a chip that will likely power US uh, based uh, devices but perhaps North America so maybe maybe it would be kind of like a Canada um, Latin America type thing but don't that's not that's not for me to say <laughs> that's not for me to say but definitely international and uh, what was said was probably as early as Q1 so that's just a general overview of MediaTek and hopefully uh, I'll have some more details that I can share with you. Uh, the summit is continuing tomorrow and you can check out the blog techkeysupreme.com for more details on what's going on and until next time, bye! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah!